morning guys up and about for the second day up in the mountains um, first call this morning to try and catch him it's always impossible trying to catch him this is kawakami fish farm um, he's very famous for goshki um, kiko kuryu um, shirotsuri does some nice shirotsuri come on ryu a little bit of everything really i just nipped in and bought three beautiful goshkis um, so what i'll do is let me just turn it around and i'll give you a little bit of a tour We have a little small house on the right there, which is for Tozai. They have some beautiful, so they're the stuff that they're going to be keeping, the Tatigoi. I'll put a video of the goshki that we just bought as well and to this, some superb fish. So the only problem with Kawakami is that he sells out so fast. Everything's always sold out here, so you've got to catch him um, when he's not busy running around. And that's a quick Kawakami. Okay guys, the next farm that we'll be visiting now is um, Kazuto Ikarashi. Um, Koi farm. Uh, his father passed a few years ago, um, which is a great shame. One of my favourite breeders. Um, but now we're at um, the son now has taken over. Um, he's doing really well. He's changed the breeding slightly now from predominantly Go Sankey. He's breeding some more weird and wonderful stuff. And this is the Tozai house in Nagoka. Really good, really lovely fish. Um, the water in the second house isn't that good, but it doesn't look that good, but the feeding in there, so, and there's probably clay in there and stuff like that, but I'll show you anyway. This part, and now we're in the um, small toes ice. Let me spin it around. Yeah. Beautiful Benny Kamonryu in there, really nice. Might have to come back and see if we can get them in a bowl. This is what I was talking about now, this kind of variety likes the Chiba and the metallic stuff. And at first it was all a bit of a shock that he was doing it, but now he's producing, so they, they do look really nice, so he made the right decision, I think. A little bit of diversity which when you've got as many people in the mountains doing go sankey then you need to try and diversify a little bit just to get more sales and he's done that perfectly These kind of varieties are so hard to select um, when you're culling. So he tends to keep a lot of them now until they get a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can get some of these up. These are koi that he's keeping.
And then he has another house. These are probably his best fish. Look at that. Beautiful Benny, come on with you. We'll get up to the other Mushigami house as well so you can have a look at the, the real special Go Sankey that they still have up there, which is unbelievable. But this was the Kazato house in Nagoka. Good afternoon guys, um, one of the other stops now is a breeder called um, Igarashi Zumi um, which is about a 40 minute drive from the mountains. Um, we always come here because it's a very good place for buying um, Tozai, small koi. So the, the dealers that are with us now, this is what they're ideally looking for. Um, and they've just bought a lot of fish so it was a very worthwhile 40 minutes. Um, let me show you some of the stuff, some of these got some fantastic fish. Um, I'll take you into the Nisai and Bigger House first. Um, you might not have heard of this guy, but he is, you know, in, in this area, he does do some really nice koi. So let me just give you a bit of a... Amazing, right? But these are in such good, good condition. And for the breeder still to be feeding the koi now um, is really good. Um, even though they're going to be shipped soon, so they will be taken out, the ones that we bought today. And then they'll be rested without food. Um, but no, excellent really really pleased with the fish that were bought from here today so and that is Ikarashi Ozumi <laughs> 